Hey y'all, this is me so. I've been waiting on you. Where you been? Come on into my kitchen today where we're going to be making something delicious. I promise you it's going to be some comfort food. Oh man, something that make your belly feel good. Simple, quick and delicious. Take a look. Don't that good? Mm, what you think about that? Ah, oh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to need to make it happen. Here I have a sirloin roast. Let's see what I paid for it. Well, this is $15.83 I paid uh, per pound. It was $4.22. And I have 3.75 pounds, almost four pounds of goodness. Ah, let's go ahead. Make it happen. Make it do what it do. Now, I'm going to wash this guy off. I know some of the new thinking is that you don't wash meat. I've been doing this stuff a long time. Sometimes I wash it if it feels like it needs washing. Sometimes I don't. You do what you want to do with your meat. Okay, now I have put this roast into my slow cooker. And I have a package of the, the Lipton's Golden Onion Soup Mix. I'm going to get this right down the, over my roast, the entire package. I don't make a roast. I don't think about making a roast without using the Lipton's. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to get some garlic in here and I am going to be very generous with my garlic powder. Why? Because I love garlic powder and makes my meat taste good. Somebody's saying that's a lot of garlic meat. So well, this is a lot of meat. Remember, nearly four pounds. So I am putting in two and a half cups of water. You put in enough to just cover your meat. And if your roast is real big, you may have to use two packets of the Lipton sauce. I'm sorry, the Lipton soup. I'm going to cover it, put it on high, and let it rip. This has been cooking about an hour, and I'm coming back in and taking some juices off of this. Just getting me some juice and putting it in a bowl, and I'm going to make a little slurry here. You'll see. So let me put some in a smaller bowl. So here I'm putting in some flour, these are not tablespoons that I'm using. This is a uh, serving spoon. But don't worry. I'm going to put in the description exactly what I'm using. I'm going to put the recipe and all of the ingredients and how much of everything I use. So not to worry. I don't want any lumps. So I'm mixing this up really good. Need a little bit more flour, though. This is not going to make uh, the thickness that I want. Mmm. Okay, let me go ahead and get this mixed up. Every time I mix, I'm going to make sure I get it nice and smooth, all the lumps out. I don't know why I put this, some of this uh, juice into a smaller bowl. I should have just kept it all in the big bowl and, and mixed it. Anyway, when you do yours, no need of dirtying up another bowl. Just keep it all in the big bowl. I'm going to go ahead, though, and change back. Let me see. I think I am. Let me... Let me see if I can make this work, but this is getting a little full. Mm. Okay, still mixing. Got to be real careful, though, not to splash it out. Uh. Okay, guys, let me go ahead and... Uh, Get back to this other bowl. I've got some of the juice in this other bowl. I didn't use it all in the little bowl. So let me just combine all of this. I hope I'm not confusing you guys. Let me just combine all of this together. And uh, just pretend we started with all of the flour going into this one large bowl. Here we go. Let me get it all out of here. Let's start to mix. Let's start to whisk. One is smooth. Nothing here in here but a few of the flecks from the Lipton soup mix. So now I'm going to get it back into the roast that had been cooking for about an hour. So let's go ahead and pour that back. Mm. 
move your roast over. I'm going to move my roast over. And just kind of let everything get sort of all around the roast and on top of it. Cover it back up. And now it's going to be ready to cook for a while. Remember, mine is on high. And it's been cooking now for three more hours. I already looked in and checked on it and cleaned some of the steam off of the lid. Because I wanted you to have a good look. I wanted you to have this view. How? Look there. Huh. Let me go ahead and open it up. Mm -mm. Now I want you to get right over into this pot and I want you to take a look at the gravy that has been made from the slurry that I put in. I want you to just take a look at the meat. Oh man. Oh, everything is looking so good. It's looking delicious, but I wish you could smell it. Oh man, I wish you could smell it. Look at there. Look at there, y'all. Oh man, look what we got. Now, my, I've kind of let mine break apart, kind of use my spoon to break it apart. You don't have to let, you can keep yours whole. Let's see what, mm, it's good. Let's go ahead and plate this roast beef up. Let's see what it looks like. I got some leftovers. I didn't even have to cook anything else. I got some leftovers that I'm putting with it. Let's see what we got here. Man, man, this is my plate. Whole bunch of leftovers and this delicious roast. Now, I didn't put, put much of the gravy on the plate with this roast because I want you just to see what kind of fall apart goodness I had. I want you to see just how easy this roast is to eat. Uh, you doesn't matter if you have it cut uh, with the grain or against the grain. It doesn't matter. This roast is falling apart. This roast is melting in your mouth no matter what you do. Look at my other vegetables. I had some macaroni cheese left over. I had some pea salad, some rice. I had some black eyed peas and I had some collard greens. But you know what? The star of the show is this here roast, baby. Mmm. This pot roast. Now, I've already been in here eating. I mean, today, y'all, I've been getting ahead of y'all on everything because I'm hungry and I just could not wait. So, before I made the plate to show it to you all, I've already been eating. Mmm. Mm -mm. But okay. That's okay. I mean, just look how that's coming apart, y'all. See, it doesn't matter how you cut it. This is just fall apart goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Look at that, y'all. Look how it's falling apart. I'll just taste a little bit of this rice. <laughs> I put some of the juices on the rice. A little collard greens. And just a tiny, tiny bit of black eyed peas. Not kidding. I just want to get back to this roast, though. <laughs> you know what? If you have any leftovers, also, this is so. Mm, this is so good. A100. This is so good if you put it on some bread, you do some mayonnaise, some mustard, and put your roast on the bread. Oh, it makes such a good sandwich. If you have any left over, I'm sure that I will not. Oh, uh, now when you see my camera swinging around like this, you know I'm really just trying to get through with this video. <laughs> I'm just trying to shut this thing down so I can go on and eat. Because today, Miso is really hungry. I want to encourage you to get in your kitchen and do this. You know what? I put this in. This is cooked a total, I believe, of four hours on high in my slow cooker. The rest of this stuff, I didn't even cook it today. It's leftovers. I've been free today. I've been out of the house, come back in, roast still cooking. This is the way to go. Serving up something good and delicious like I've been slaving all day long. I virtually did nothing besides pour in a little bit of lemon soup. Um, mix and a little bit of garlic and some water. Still eating here. <laughs> mm. Now these peas 
are really good. They were really good. This video is on my um, uh, on my channel. Just look for pea salad. Really good. Mm, look. Oh, look at this macaroni. Mm, Y'all. Mm. Little collards. Let me just taste this bread. Now these are some yeast rolls. I made these yesterday. Mm. <laughs> Back to the roast. Oh gosh, y'all, this is so good. I'm having such a great time with this. I gotta get off here. I gotta go on and eat. I want you guys to get in the kitchen, make this. I gotta give myself a hand clap. This is so good. Ah, oh, so good. Mhm. Mm guys, I wanna thank you guys for watching, for coming by, checking on me, see what I was doing today, cause you knew I'd be throwing down. I hope I did not disappoint. If you like my channel, if you like what I'm doing here, guys, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because that way YouTube will notify you every time I put up a new video. I want you to share my video. Share them on your job with your mama, your daddy, your, your, the cousin you don't like, your aunt, your uncle. I don't care. Everybody you know, share my videos. Give me a big old thumbs up and make sure you comment because I love hearing from you guys. Uh, I want to thank you again for watching. Guys, I want to encourage you to just be safe out there. Be careful. Uh, love who you, all, everybody that you love. Hold them close to you and let them know that you love them. Be kind to somebody. Bye-bye.